Emily, uh, please have an opening statement, please. Well, what a game. I mean, what a game. Um, you know, hats off to Simo. The, the thing we talked about prior to this game is they play so hard. And I love when teams play hard. I think we play hard. I think Simo played hard. I, I thought in the end it ended up being defense and rebounding. And I thought that would end up being the difference in the game. But first round of tournament games are always hard to, always hard to win. We've survived. Now it's about advancing. Coco, talk a little bit about uh, your game tonight. You were named the Defensive Player of the Year in the OBC or Co-Defensive Player of the Year, and yet you turn out with the most points tonight. Um, well, that's an honor, but I was just playing my game, doing what I can for my team, and that's ball pressure and defending. So that's just that's how it went tonight or this afternoon. Sharon did 20 points tonight, uh, pretty much your scoring average for the season. Uh, anything about getting through the first round? Um, well, first, uh, you know, I thought Simo played a great game. Um, I think our team showed a level of toughness, and I'm so proud of them. And I think uh, throughout the game, um, I, I wasn't hitting as much, uh, but Coco backed me up. And that's what, that's what the team's all about, just having each other's back. And I think that's great. Lauren, talk about uh, the last shot uh, of the game uh, where you were able to get the rebound. Um, our coach just kept telling us to play hard the whole time until the buzzer goes off. So. My job when I get out in there is to rebound, so I just went after it and I got it. I just put it back up with all my force. No way. Coach Busher, talk about the resilience of this team. That uh, that's the seventh time I believe they've come back from a, a second, a first half deficit. Well, you know, you keep playing until the buzzer goes off, and this game is a game of runs. And I thought you saw that pretty drastically with both teams tonight. And you just have to keep playing, keep believing in each other. And I thought that's what happened. And then we finally got some shots to drop. I mean, I thought Sharonda struggled for a while, but then late she really picked it up and made some huge baskets at the end. Coco was great penetrating. You know, Lauren and Coco, I think, are tremendous defenders. But, you know, those offensive boards are huge, and I thought we did a good job with that. Let's give a shout-out to uh, Don Shell, who had another double-double tonight as well. Donnie's been playing really well probably the last – I don't know, seven, eight games. She's just, she's played great and she's such a force rebounding. She's, you watch her out there, you know, she's going to get fatigued because she gives it her all, all the time. But I think that's what our team did tonight and that was what was huge and important for us. Great team win. A lot of people stepped up and played well. Next up for the Cougars is Belmont. Uh, Cougars didn't see them except for early in the season. What uh, What's going to be different about this second time? Well, I, I think it's the second round of a tournament. We watched them play yesterday. Um, you know, we're, it's going to be about defense again. and We've got to show a level of toughness on the boards. But, you know, we'll, we'll go back tonight. We'll get them something to eat, get an ice bath. They love ice baths. So we're going to make them take some ice baths. And then uh, we'll, we'll sit down and break down Belmont. Thanks, Coach. This is for the players. Um, with the results from yesterday, and you're saying maybe the top team going down, what was in your mindset in the sense of anything that happened? Yeah, I thought watching that game, I thought, you know, it was a good game, but you can't underestimate anybody in, um, on this level because in the OBC, all these teams are, are pretty good. So um, we took that, and we, we can't let our guard down. We have to fight. All we got is 40 minutes. And, I mean, that's what that's what Coach said, and, and I think we took that into our minds, and, and we, we played tonight. A little longer than 40 tonight, but yeah. Yeah, 45. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you mentioned the, the defensive effort being key and obviously the rebounding. What was kind of the focus on the defensive end against the season team? Well, they're, they're so good at, at a lot of their different sets and how they set screens, and they overloaded us a few times, and that caused us a little bit of problems. So we went to some different defenses. We played, you know, three different styles of defense, tried to keep mixing it up so they didn't get comfortable. But I think it our, for us defensively, it all starts with ball pressure, and that's the job that Coco and Lauren usually get. We have to make sure we pressure their point guards and get out and deny on the wings. And I, I thought we did a pretty good job with that tonight. There were times that we had a little bit of a letdown, but I thought late in the game we really stepped up and made some great defensive plays. What do you think was maybe different about Simo tonight than the, the last time you played them a couple weeks ago? Well, the last time we played them in, in the second quarter, we had a tremendous second quarter. They struggled probably the worst second quarter of their season. So, you know, that I knew that going into it, and that was a huge deficit for them to come back from that game. But that's not how they play. That's, that's just a rarity for them playing that way. They are a tough team. They're very well coached. And, and I, I think they just played extremely hard. And that's, you know, I, I talked a lot to our players. We think, you know, I know I said it earlier, but we think we play hard. But I think SEMO plays hard, too. And I think any time you get two teams like that, you get the type of game that you just saw. Neither team was going to back down. Neither team was going to go away.